Hi everyone, I'm going to do another raw edit today uh, in Darktable. Uh, this is the latest version of Darktable on the GitHub, which will eventually become 1.4. Today I'm going to do an edit on a photo from um, the Froknows photo site. Uh, there, you, There's a forum area where you can download and edit other people's raw files. So I just uh, downloaded a bunch of those raw files and put them up here. Um, Here's the photo that I'm going to be editing. It's raw file week number 15. Uh, this is the forum where you can upload your, or well, download the raw file and then upload your edits. And this is the YouTube video where Jared and Greg both edit the file. It's worth watching. I'll put links to both of those down below the video. Okay, let's get into the edit. Now, I've already edited this photo. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the image and I'm going to reset it and redo my edit. All right, so let's reset back down to the original image. So you can see here that uh, this photo was shot with a 50 millimeter uh, f1.8 on a, uh, I think it's on a 550D, is it? No, 500D. Um, so it looks like it was taken on a really dark day. Um, because it's a 50 mil and the photographer is not really tight on the subject, this this background hasn't blurred out that much. There's not a lot of um, separation between the actual subject of the photo and the background. If I had a shot this photo, I mean, you're limited by, in this case, we're limited by the, the actual um, place where the, f the photo was taken, but it might be better to have the subject further from the background or to use a zoom lens like a 70 to 200, even a 70 to 200 f4 would give you a better separation from the background. If you stepped right back, took the shot at 200 mil, it would uh, would separate her from the background a little bit better. But anyway, this is what we've got to work with today. So let's go through uh, the edit. So I'm going to start off with a crop. Uh, obviously, I think there's too much blank space up here. This is probably because the 500D has a very limited number of focus points just in the center of the frame there. So the photographer, when you're working at 1.8, you don't want to focus recompose because your um, your your focus plane is too easy to get wrong if you're you're focusing with a you know two centimeter wide depth of field and then you move the camera to recompose. You can easily get important things. I mean, the eyes being the most important thing out of focus. So I actually like the idea to the, of the photographer not to uh, focus recompose, but to just take the shot a little off center and crop later. That's fine with your, you know, unless you've got a five five D like I've got, where you can pick billions of different focus points. I think that's the way to go. Okay, so there's the crop. I like that better. She's now, you know, obviously uh, right in the middle of the frame, looking right at you. But the other thing I notice is that this white balance is a bit off. It looks kind of purple or reddish to me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try with the spot white balance on her boots here because this is her boots should be a neutral sort of grey or black. And that already looks a lot better to me. Although I think that's, to my way of thinking, I still think it's a bit too red. Well, yeah, I think it, you know it's not too bad. I might I might go back to to that spot white balance just because that's an easy easy uh, heuristic to use. If you've got some grey in the image, it's always nice to see at least what that spot white balance will be. Um, obviously, if you don't have grey and you're, you know, you're struggling, you'll get, look at that, that's the white balance. So that's probably what the camera has done, is it's done an auto white balance. It's treated the whole frame as grey. And if you do that, you get this, you get this white balance that, uh, that we saw originally in the image. So I'm just going to pick this grey over here and or maybe down in here. Yeah, it all looks about the same. Okay, so that's the white balance. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I've already edited this, it's got a few instances of the exposure, I'll just delete those. I'm going to push up the exposure a little bit. I just think it's a little underexposed. The um, histogram looked like it was a little overexposed. Now, I don't want to blow out the skin tones too much. Um, I want those to to still be as natural as possible, but I want the image to be quite a light image. I don't want it to be, although then we get this line appearing here, so I might darken that off later. Um, all right, so that's looking pretty good. Uh, now, I might do something about this background. Uh, the first thing I want to do maybe is sharpen her up a little bit, make her pop a little. So I'm going to use the equalizer to add a little bit of clarity 
Yeah, that's quite nice. You know, it makes just makes the image a little bit more poppy. Yeah, that's too much. Okay. Fine, but I don't want to, you know, apply that effect to this bokeh in the background because I think that's a bit ugly. So I'll just uh, just draw a mask around her to make sure that she's the only thing that is being sharpened. Just bear with me a little while I quickly bash out this. Probably put a couple in here, one there. Down. We're just trying to get the shape of her. It doesn't need to be perfect because we're going to blur the edge a little bit. We'll just add a few points around here. Uh, get around the bottom of her dress here. That small of her back, that point there, and around her shoulder sort of ruffle thing. Oh, but I do want to include her hair. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pull this back out because I want to include her hair. Okay, looks nice. Right, so you can see here we've got a blur on the edge, so I'm just going to reduce this in size a little just so that we're not over sharpening her body. The other thing you can do is um, you can blur the edge by you know adding a mask blur and you can look at the mask by pressing on this button to see what effect that has. So you can see if I pull this out then the, the, the blur on the edge increases. But I'm just going to keep it reasonably tight on her body. Uh, I don't want to do this blur so much. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. She's pretty well masked out now. Whoops, okay. So, now we can see that if I turn the clarity on and off, it's just affecting her and the background is left uh, smooth. But I also want to increase the blurriness of this bokeh, especially on the left. I don't mind the tree so much. I think that's quite nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is... You know, I've got another one of these. What I'm going to do is turn on this low pass. And that's probably a little bit too much. Let's jack it down a little. Yeah, so that's blurring the background out there nicely. Again, uh, I don't want to affect her. And I don't want to affect the seat either, so I can't just take the mask that I did before. So I'm just going to do another drawn mask. Uh, and actually, I won't do it. I won't do. I'll do. I'll use the. Uh, so I'm using the scroll wheel to increase the size of this uh, brush. And I'm just going to sneak this in here, along up here. And then I'll just draw over this area here. Okay, so now we can see the area. If I mouse over we can see the area that's being affected and you'll note that immediately it's just that left hand side of the image that's being affected now. It's being blurred out more. So I actually uh, I want to leave this bit out. So I'm going to just redraw that and leave the tree unaffected. So let's do this area up to here, down to here, up to here, and around. Okay, so we can see that I'm just blurring that background out now, and uh, let's pull her boot up, pull it up so her boot's not affected, and I'm just going to control click to add another control point so that I can pull this down. Cool. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Just adjusting things. Alright, so that's that now. So we have the low pass in this area only. Uh, what do I think of these sticks? I think I'm going to do another one for, for those uh, sticks. Um, draw another mask, add another brush. Yeah. So excluding that from before was a waste of time, but never mind. It's kind of an artistic process. You've got to just see what how things look, don't you? Um, that's overlapping her body far too much, so let's just pull that back. All right, we're getting there, I think. Let me just see if I can uh, turn on that again. Control click to add another con uh, control point. And just do that so that we can try and get this area out of focus. Oh, this thing up here is no good now. Uh, 
don't tell me I've stuffed this up. Let's pull that up to there, pull that back down to there, and I think we're there. Okay. Alright, so I've now blurred the background, sort of separated her a little bit from it. Um, Alright, what do I think now of this image? It's starting to look pretty good. I notice that her eyes are a little bit dark, so I might just edit these a little bit as well. Um, I think I want to add a little bit of local contrast um, to her eyes. Let's look, let's see what this does. We do this to the whole image. I think I might increase the contrast a little. Increase the detail a little. Uh, that's too much. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, and now I'm just going to mask that onto her eyes only. Obviously, scroll wheel up to increase. So I'm going to do her eyebrow like that. Yep. Okay, that's one, and we'll do this area here. Now, you might be say, saying to yourself, you're crazy, look at these horrible lines. Well, let's blur the edge of the mask. Okay, so her eyes are now a little bit sharper. The other thing I'm going to do, I think, is just lighten her eyes a little bit. So I'm going to be like just a tiny bit lighter in her eyes. Something like this. A bit more. And I'm going to use another drawn mask. Increase its size a little. Just want to increase, you know, in brighten up her eyes. Another brush like so, and I'm just going to blur the edges of that as well. Okay. Alright, it's starting to look good. In fact, I think I'm pretty happy with this. The only thing I might check is the noise. There's a little bit of noise there, so I'm just going to turn on the uh, noise reduction. Let's go, uh, where am I? Correction, obviously, denoise profiled. That looks pretty good, but I might just um, back it off a little. Don't want to blow out all of the detail. So, that looks pretty good. All right, uh, so that's my raw edit. Uh, if you'd like to compare what Jared and uh, Greg did, hop over to the YouTube video below uh, this and check it out. If not, hope you enjoyed.